Greetings again fellow cryptophiles, my name is Nathan House and in this video we're going to explore something called steganography, which is the art of hiding secret messages in plain sight. Or in other words, it's hiding your secret messages in things like pictures, movies and music. We will explore what exactly steganography is, what it can be used for, and I'll teach you how to use it effectively with OpenPuff. Check out the comments below for references and links discussed in the video. Steganography is the practice of concealing information or files within other non-secret text or data. It is called hiding data in plain sight. You could, for example, hide a text file containing secret information within an image file, like this dog file here. The image file would look like a normal image, but would contain the secret message. The file containing the secret data is called the carrier. The modified carriers will look like the original files, like you can see here, without perceivable changes. Best carriers are videos, images, an audio file since everybody can send, receive and download them and they're just not a suspicious format of file. But crucially, steganography is not encryption. The data is just hidden, not encrypted. It would be very trivial for someone who knows what they're doing to take a copy of the original file, compare it to the other file and determine that steganography has been used and what the secret message is. If you do use videos, images and audio files to create a hidden message, you cannot upload them to somewhere where the file could be fundamentally altered through something like compression. So for example, uploading a video to YouTube would destroy the secret message, but sending a video via email should be fine. Steganography is used when you need to conceal that you are sending a secret message. Perhaps the consequences would be high if discovered. When you use just encryption, it's obvious that you're doing it. With steganography, it's not obvious at all that you are sending a message. Some steganography tools also use encryption as well as steganography together to help make a message harder to determine. And one that I would recommend for Windows is called OpenPuff. And I'll give you a demo so you can see and understand a little bit more about steganography. And this one's got some nice little extra features which are quite good. So if you want to download OpenPuff, then go to this website here, download it from here, start the program. So if I run it, it takes a little time. Now this section is going to take you through to the help. This is going to take you through to the homepage of the website. You can ignore this. This is for watermarking, some other features it's got here. And this is for hiding your data within a carrier. And this is for unhiding your data from a carrier. So let's start by hiding some data to start with. I'll click on hide. Now we've got to enter three passwords. Now if you want to know why you need to enter three passwords, then you can have a look at the manual which is here, which will give you a little bit more information on why. It uses the three passwords as part of an algorithm to do the steganography. Now I'm going to need three passwords. So what I've done is I've generated some passwords here in advance because it does need and it forces complex passwords. So I'm copy and paste these in here. And then I need to add a carrier. So I'm going to click on here and I'm going to choose the uh, dog picture as my carrier. So there it's added it as a JPEG, 192 bytes. And now I need to add my secret message. Now this can be any file, but there is a limitation between how big your carrier is and how big your message is going to be. You need a big carrier to carry a big message. So I'm going to select that one here. You can have multiple carriers as well. And so you can have multiple videos, images, different files as the carriers. So that would be fine. I could hide that data there and it will be done. But what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to add a decoy. Click here, copy in these passwords, add the decoy text. There's my decoy text. Validate that. 
There we go. It's validated. So in cryptography and steganography, plausible deniable encryption describes encryption techniques where the existence of an encrypted file or message is deniable in the sense that an adversary cannot prove that the plain text data exists. And that's what we're doing here with this decoy. If somebody was to ask for the password, if they suspected it, we could give this we could give these decoy passwords and it would reveal the decoy text instead of the real text. So let's do the data hiding and the decoy together. Put those in this steg folder. Okay, there we go. Click done. And there we can see we've got our carrier file that is carrying our two messages. It's carrying the decoy message and it's carrying the real message. And if you want to compare it to the original file, which is here. And as you'll see, there's no real perceivable difference between the two files. But now you don't want to use a file from the internet that can be used to compare with the carrier unless you modify the carrier first by resizing it or compressing it. Because if you just do a quick search for something on the internet, download that file because you want to use it as a carrier, somebody can then just do the same thing. They do a quick search, try to find it, use Google. It's quite easy to find images using uh, Google and Google Images, and they can compare it, and they can see that some changes have been made, and they'll be able to see if it's steganography. So what you should do is download a file, resize it, and compress it, or use your own file. Now, if you are going to use your own file, make sure there's no metadata or EXIF data in there if anonymity is important to you. And there's a section on EXIF and metadata. So let's now unhide the data from the carrier. Close that, unhide, add the carrier. That's the carrier. We've got to uh, add the passwords and unhide, put that in the steg folder. And there we go. We've extracted the secret message, the eagle has landed with the four passwords. Now, if somebody was trying to force us to reveal what was in here, we could use a decoy, which is here. These passwords, Add the carrier, unhide, steg folder. And that would then reveal the decoy text here. And that would give us plausible deniability. They would not be able to prove that there was any other message in there. Another steg tool is this one here, where you can just simply type some text in and encode it, and it'll code it into spam-like text, which you can then send in an email, and it would look like spam. This is just steganography. There is no encryption in here. You'd have to encrypt first if you didn't want this site, for example, to know what the message was. And then somebody could paste the text in here, decode, and then they'd see, you know, there was the, the eagle has landed. And if you want to uh, explore steganography more and other tools, there's a link here which has got absolutely loads of uh, steganography tools uh, if you're interested in looking at the different ones and for different platforms as well. So that's steganography. So, do you use steganography for communication yourself? Do you recommend any other steg tools? Let me know in the comments below. I'd be very interested to know your experiences. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more weekly videos. And if you have any suggestions for topics you would like me to cover, please make suggestions in the comments below. I would love to hear back from you. If you want full access to our online courses on cybersecurity and hacking, check out the link below where we cover more on encrypting and privacy tools. And we'll also find a special discount token below just for YouTubers.